Hello everybody, this is Check the Gate and welcome to a Fallout 4 tutorial. This is going to be very quick as it's a small program and you guys are really going to appreciate it. So Reddit user Belago released a tool today, Fallout 4 Tweaker or Fallout 4 Configuration Tool. It is absolutely amazing. You can see it here on Nexus Mods and you're going to be able to download it here. Also, I'm going to link the Reddit post that he put up today. And within nine hours, he already made several advancements to the small little tool. And it's going to be awesome. So I'm going to minimize this, but I'm going to show you what you had to do before. And for those who are not uh, familiar with tweaking.ini files or a little nervous about that, so this tool is going to relegate that. And it's going to make you feel a little a little safer, even though you're really not doing anything harmful to your computer or to your files. But before you had to go to your local C drive and then users, that's me, documents, my games, Fallout 4, and then right click and open either with Notepad or Notepad++, whatever you want. And you had to make tweaks for the FOV, the unlocked frame rate, the uh, mouse acceleration. And that made a lot of people nervous. And it still does to this day for those who are even new to PC gaming. So, you know, you had to do all that and then make the file read only and also you had to go into your steam uh directory for fallout 4 and you had to go to your games drive steam steam apps common fallout 4 and fallout 4 underscore default dot ini do the same thing there and i believe that was only for the fov adjustments well those days are over now we have the Fallout 4 configuration tool, so by the way, I'm going to leave both links in the description. Like I said before, you right click and you use 7-zip or RINRAR, however you want to call it, however, you, whatever you're using, and it's a very small file. So if you're going to be cracking out on Fallout 4 for the next couple of weeks, as you know, the effect that Skyrim had on you guys, you know, you can have this live on your desktop. It's a very small file. I'm going to put it here. I already made a folder. And I'm going to show you how it works. And when you launch it and you make any adjustments, it's going to add a little save file. So keep that, you know, keep it within the folder. Keep it nice and uh, organized on your desktop. So we're going to double click this. Actually, I love to run it as administrator always on all these files. And then when this comes up, look how easy it is. It's a small little application. You can do tons of tweaks here. And, you know, you can leave mouse acceleration on or off, however you like that. I like to leave my FOV at 110. For some reason, even the FOV tweaks that I made in the INI files and I made them read only were not working. So I was like playing in a fishbowl, especially for PC gamers. You guys know what I'm talking about. So that's why we love the FOV options. And uh, like I said, when you save this and you make all your adjustments on here, it's going to make them read only so you don't have to ever worry about going back in those directories. I mean, you can still do it, but this is just a lot easier. And I like to frame lock, even though I'm running this Ultra on a 980 Ti, the movement is actually tied to the frame rate kind of like Dark Souls. So, you know, um, I'm waiting for a patch on that. That's why I'm locking the frame rate at 60 and 60 is fine. But like before, like last night when this came out, I was zooming across the world. I'm like, what the hell is going on? And sure enough, it's one of those problems. So until then, I'm going to leave it at frame rate lock and disable intro videos. Uh, like I said, field of view. And look, look at this. Just by uh, request alone, he had a big request for this. He added the resolution tab today. So if you want to donate, that's up to you. You don't have to. It's it's a free program. But I love it when people contribute to communities, gaming communities, and put in hard work. So that makes me feel a little better to donate just a couple bucks if I ever wanted to. And so if you do have one of those widescreen monitors, enable selection, put in your uh, numbers here, and you can either toggle on and off window borderless. So that is is a Fallout 4 tweaker, Fallout 4 configuration tool, however you want to call it. And I want to show you this. Like I said before, savings have been settings have been saved successfully. You can X that out. You can double click and see it saves an INI file and leave that there. Those are your settings. So I hope you guys like this video. Visit the links down in the description below and I'll see you guys in the next one.